a SEA Games medalist and a WBC Asia Silver Champion, this Malaysian pro boxer was also recently awarded the Exemplary Boxer of the Year by the WBC Asian Boxing Council. He's not like any other ordinary athlete. He's also your everyday superhero fighting on the front lines in a battle against COVID-19. Let me tell you the untold stories of this Malaysian boxer, Adli Hafiz. You've won so many things. How was your journey like? I started as an athlete, you know. I started as a footballer. I'm an athlete for sprinting, for hurdle. See that boxing fitness is very good, you know. In terms of their cardio, their footwork, their strength. So then I initiate. Lah. So from that time, I started just for fun, you know. I just jogging, sleeping, just for fun. And then I punch it back. And then I found that after I learn, after I know how to box, that and then the minute will come automatically the minute come you know i'm struggling since i was 21 i continue study because of my parents want me to have a school of diploma i go study and then after that i continue for the degree so after i continue degree every every time i get the opportunity to represent my country there's like a barrier you know to continue boxing you cannot study you cannot finish your study on time so I have to sacrifice. 23 years old, I start back as a boxer. Uh, 25, after I kerja lah, masuk custom and I work as a custom officer. So the custom department really support me. Custom uh, department boss that time told me that, Adli, if you want to go, you just go. Represent our flag, represent our country for our nation. So you just go. So that's why. I start representing nation by the age of 27, you know. Lapan. 27 years old and I retire. Yeah, so, I never say never. I, I tak nak cakap, tak boleh. I mesti cakap boleh. You bayangkanlah orang tu, I lah 1-5. Semua 25, 23 years old. You know. I'm 29, 30. <laughs> so that, what I want to tell you is, if you want to success, you must set in your mind, di mana ada kemauan, di situ ada jalan. So my objective for this year is definitely for go for WBC Asian Continental. Actually, my fight, they already said, you know, I already signed the contract. So I have to fight okay. uh, around this this March. After the COVID come, and then they postpone to June. So during June, the the situation also not okay. So they will postpone until December. So I think I I hope that. During December, I can fight for my next title, WBC Asian Continental. So if I win, if I win the title, there will be my third number three collection. So I, I already prepared, I think about seven months already. But during MCO, I did, I did skip skate lah, but uh, safety right, safety purpose. So. The most challenging time working during MCO because, uh, you know, Sometimes I pergi checking and then I pegang and then orang sneezing ke batuk ke kan. So, but for me, I'm working as a customs officer and enforcement team also. So that I have to take care of my country, I have to take care of the border, I have to take care of everything. Okay, so that during MCO also I have to work, I have to take risks for myself. So during that time, three months very challenging for me. Even I balik rumah pun. I cannot stay at home. I stay out first. I take out my shirts and everything outside, and then I go inside uh, like that every day. So every day I have to work. No, but no holiday, no off day. What motivates yeah. you to get up every day? My life is like machine. You know, I'm like a robot. You know, because of what? Morning I'm working. Afternoon I training. Night, I train people, and after that, I become a father. <laughs> what motivates me? So I will always refreshing, refreshing. Uh, how hard, how hard I'm facing the journey to become like this. Every day, you have to refresh. Kenapa dulu masa muda you tak buat benda ni? Kenapa sekarang you buat? Sebab dulu masa muda you tak ada peluang. You don't have chance, right? Because you study. So now you have the chance. You have to do it. Commit. If you want to do boxing, you must seriously go into it. Alright, jangan hangat-hangat tayayam. My advice is, 
you have to set your roots, your goals, your journey, your roots, what you want to be. Okay, if you want to just come and train for fun, okay, you will become a funny guy. Uh. But if you expect that you want to become a success, so you must train hard. Okay, your mental must be strong, and then your like. I mean like courage, your passion is there. You put your heart and soul in there, inside there. Once you enter the gym, your heart and your soul and your body inside there already. You cannot think about your Instagram, your Facebook and everything. No. Okay, once you must commit two hours training, you must commit punch, keep punching, keep punching until your hand cannot go up. You must keep punching. Because by the end of the day, you will fight for yourself. Because I every day I motivate myself. I see that people will, will not help me. People will not help me. People are not pushing me. I need to push myself.